Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. I'm your host, Theodore Cooper. We are back with another video, this time from The Godfather. Let's get to it. In this particular clip, The Godfather talks to a 45-year-old virgin. And I've been wanting to react to this clip for quite some time, so let's get to it. Hello, how are you? Uh, fine. Lakia? Yeah, Lakia? Lakia? Uh, yes, it's Lakia. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. Uh, how old are you? I'm 45. All right. So what did I get right or what did I get wrong? Um, I heard the part about my question. Well, you said we can call in and ask any question that we wanted. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm calling in because I've been listening to some of your content for about maybe almost a year now. Mm -hmm. And when you started your monologue, I heard where you were talking about how women th these days, I can only speak for myself. I am 45, single, no kids, mm. a virgin, and it's very difficult to You're find men out a here. Virgin? I know, right? Yes, a virgin. I am not sexually active at all. Okay. I am a, I am a Christian, and I just find it very difficult to date in this in this society nobody right wants a 45 year old virgin facts i didn't say that i'm just saying it's difficult to date well, that, why did it's difficult to date because what man wants to date a 45 year old virgin talk to him a man that's seeking that i'm not looking for no no him no, no, to... no 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 listen listen what is the purpose of dating to gather data what's the end goal no the end goal other. no no don't give me the college yearbook answer what's the end goal of dating to be married right and what's one of the what's one of the end goals of marriage the end goal of marriage is and to what's procreate one of the, what, right 45 year old women don't make babies facts um I can see as what you're saying biologically that's what it should be but like i said i don't believe that no it's don't say over that until god says it's over okay you can't brush data and statistics to the side because of god that's not how it works that's god my it's called menopause right. god says it's over i'm not in that so i can't i can't speak ma'am 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 ma 45 gonna be there too. soon don't come Bible bump with me. I'll do it with you. God did not set it up for 45 year old virgins to, 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 that ain't what we do. It's not what we do. And maybe where you're at, but men don't go looking for women who are 45 to be mothers to their children. But they just don't at 45 years old. One of the benefits of dealing with a woman who's 45 is she's supposed to be good and broke in by now. She's supposed to know the game. She's not supposed to still be gathering data like an 18 year old. Right. She's supposed to know the game. 45, will be giving game. That's why it's hard for you to date because you're gathering data. That's cool. But as a man, why would a man want to go date someone that sex ain't on on the table and they're almost 50? Uh, if that's their only goal is to have sex, it's, it's not, not the like only they're goal, not... man. It's not the only goal, but it is a part of relationship. Are you? Do you plan on being? So uh, get, let me get this straight. So you want to be? You plan on being a virgin until you're married? Yes, I do. Okay, and then and what age do you plan on getting married by? Ugh. When I when when I get a proposal, when and, I and, and, in order to get a proposal, you have to have men who are suitors. What men he... are suitors for forty five year old virgins? Well, I'm actually talking to a, a man that is um, approximately around my age now. Okay. And is he, is he, he a virgin? Uh, no, he's not. Okay. He's a divorcee. Uh huh. Um, 52. Uh huh. And uh, I've been talking to him for about mm, maybe two years now. Two years. This is done. For the last year, years, for the last years, year, years, I've been talking years, to don't him over talk, Don't over talk, don't over talk to me. Two years? Two years? You're just talking. Well, this isn't a relationship. Just right. talking. Kevin? No, ma'am. There's no Kevin. 45-year-old woman is a virgin talking to a man for two years. 
ma'am, whether you like it or not, you are too inexperienced to tell me anything about dating. Too inexperienced. And I'm trying to help you, but the reality is 45-year-old, there was a comedy. A comedy was made called The 40-Year-Old Virgin, and that was a man. We're beyond comedic when you got a 45-year-old woman. So you got to deal with who will deal with you. Fair. But that's not a lot of people. Well, I'm not looking for a lot of people. I'm looking for the one that's suited for me. I've said this before and I've said this again. A lot of women do this. PPM. They're professional point missers. That wasn't the fucking point that he was just trying to make now. And that irritates me to my core. Because all so many women do this. They purposely miss the point. What he's saying is that you're 45 years old. And I'm sure in a second, he's going to get into the subject which I really want to touch upon. What have you been doing all these years? I will never make fun of someone for being a virgin. You want to hold on to your chastity until you find your husband? That's great. But what actions have you been taking? When do you plan on getting married was his next question. She says, whenever I get a proposal. Because that sounds like another version of manifestation. And we've covered that before on this channel. Women wanting a certain outcome and the only actions that they actually take is just saying this, I'll manifest it. Uh, uh, his name is Fido. <laughs> his name is Fido. If yep. that's your opinion. No, no, ma'am. Show no. Show me your dating pool. Show me the men who are actively trying to date you seriously with the intents of marrying you in the next six months. I'm all ears. Do you got a do you have a dog or a cat? I have no pets. <laughs> okay, well, pets coat, pet smart or pet coat? <laughs> Go get one. Neither. Neither. <laughs> pet smart or pet coat? Because ma'am, forty five. If you haven't figured it out by now, Fuck. if you haven't figured it out by now, and if you and if you're looking to be a virgin till marriage, it is uncommon, exceptionally uncommon, that men who are age appropriate are going to. Okay, let's back up. Let's back up. How long do you think you need to date someone before you are engaged? I would say maybe three to six months, maybe. Three to six months. Okay. What is your longest relationship? Mm, my longest relationship was probably about five years. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? Ooh, that was about maybe Ooh. 20 some years ago. Right. So, mm -hmm. uh huh. First of all, how is a relationship? How do you have a five year relationship without sexual intercourse? That's one thing. But what has she been doing for the last 20 years? She's 45 now. So, you have been alive. You have been frozen like Captain America, right? No. But why have you not had a serious relationship in the last 20 years? Like I stated, there's it's in this dating pool now, it's very difficult to date men who will accept the fact that you are a Christian, a strong one that feels that hey, no, it's that not about aspect. Being, it's, not about, it's not about being a Christian specifically, man, because I'm okay. a oh. Why? Okay, if this is if Christianity is the case, man, like we can go down that path. Are you actively working in a church or with a pastor or an environment that fosters Christian marriages in an arranged way? This is the question I wanted to hear. That is the problem. Knew it. I have. I am a part of a church that does do that. However, as a result of COVID recently, um, COVID there only been, happened in 2019, ma'am. You ain't. I understand. I I understand <laughs> that. Ma'am, 20 years. 20 years. Okay. 20 years. It's not. A, yes, it's not Kevin. about being a Christian. It's not about being a Christian. It's not about being a Christian. It's not about the dating pool. It's you. Right. It's you me can, because I'm not willing to sleep around. No, is that what you're saying? You because you're under no. It's you because if you're gonna live, say, under Christianity, then you don't need to be in charge of this process. You need to be working with a pastor, uh, a church that has a, a, a ready supply of men. Because right. you're almost talking about an arranged kind of marriage. What you want is that you want it to work your way. You want to be able to pick men from the world as you see fit, and then overlay your religious beliefs. And you have a 20-year track record of failure. Uh, and you before that, you had a five-year relationship. And at the end of the day, ma'am. Mm -hmm. This this program is at the end of the day you can think what you want. You're 45. Right. 45 year old. 
45 year old, if you're dating a man who's age appropriate, it is unlikely you're going to find anybody who is going to wait until marriage to sleep with a 45 year old woman. It's not, it's very unlikely. And you only are getting older. You're not, it's not going backwards. It's going to get, get worse. Menopause, while it may not be on you, any, any credible OBGYN would tell you at 45, you are far likely past than any time where anybody would recommend getting pregnant. Right. And that's for exceptionally healthy women. Exceptionally healthy women. So children are for the most part out. So that's a big motivation for men to marry. It's not the dating pool. It's you. It's you in the pool. And real quick, Mr. Samuels made a great point as well that I wish I would have hit on earlier, but he's 100% right. What he says about she's not working with the church. So she's someone who wants to live an extremely strict lifestyle as far as a Christian, but the men she's looking for are not those same men. She should be in the church looking for another dude, but Mr. Samuels said it. She wants to have a Christian life, but want to pick worldly men. See, one thing I want you guys to understand is women have been given a, 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 a carte blanche excuse to blame men and not take accountability for themselves. 20 years in the problems of the men. No. I didn't say the problem was the men. I the said men that the dating most pool. men, the most dating men pool in the, the dating pool require sex. And you stated that well, no, clearly. No, the dating pool requires sex, but the thing is that, the, so you should have, so at what, at what, at, at, in 20 years, if you want to have a, a be virgin till married, then that means a religious ceremony, not a religious ceremony, that means, are you in a small church? How large is your church? Uh, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty decent size. It's pretty how big. Many, uh, how many members? Five thousand members or more. What the 5, fuck? Five thousand. Do they have a vibrant singles ministry? Five thousand. <sighs> no. Well, Thank they you. did. No, they no, did. no, no. The answer is no. Washington and that's the, and that's what you need to pull this off: a vibrant singles ministry that facilitates Christian marriage. I'm not at a problem with your with your with your beliefs. I'm at a problem with the, the practicality of it. You're in a church that doesn't facilitate the outcomes you want. Exactly. And that's your problem. You didn't you want a Christian marriage and wait till you're a virgin. Then you need to go to a Christian church that has a vibrant singles ministry that facilitates marriage. Christian marriage. Okay. Do you know of any in Atlanta? Uh, not my responsibility. I'm not you. This is on you. Like Mr. Samuels pretty much just said what I said. You notice what he said? You need to take action. You need to find churches because he's sitting around not doing shit. And she turns to Mr. Samuels and asks him, well, do you know of a church? You're a goddamn 45 year old woman. Want this stranger to point you in the right direction. Get your head out of your ass in Jesus name. But that's your requirement. That's why I said it's not the church. It's, she not, lost, it's man. not the dating pool. It's you. Those are your requirements. You should have found it in 20 years. Right. If you have not actively... See, what it is, is women like you have, are too damn passive when it comes to relationships. Yep. You think it's just supposed to happen. What I say? You're not actively out trying to find a solution. Exactly. Even the church you're in right now, I ask one question to undercut your entire premise. Does it have an active, vibrant singles ministry? The answer is no. Then you should not be there. Preach. Uh, you said they don't. I never said they don't. Okay. But the, the issue All right, here well, is... Okay, 45... Uh, uh, no, and here's another thing. Nobody really wants to deal with the argument of 45-year-old virgin. <laughs> I haven't been arguing with you, Mr. Uh, uh, Samuels. Uh, at the end of the day, ma'am, uh, argumentative, disagreeable, uh, like it or not, ma'am, there's a component of being socially awkward. It can, and, and a lot of times in Christianity, we, we put it off on God. Ma'am, it's really weird to not have a relationship for years. That is. You say you've been talking to somebody for two years. This is all off. And that's fine. And just like there are a segment of men who never marry, die virgins, or, or there's a segment of women like that too. It's called a fem cell, a female incel. That's what you are. You're involuntarily celibate. You can say it's because of religion or whatever. And, and yes, you could have sex if you want to, 
but you can't get a relationship that's a problem uh, no that's not the problem oh. I have no problems <laughs> getting into a relationship mm -hmm. what right. I told you is how do you that prove when that? you start you a that? relationship how do you prove they that? start to require how do you prove that you haven't had one in 20 years I've met men that's I'm not, not a relationship. Like I haven't met that's men. not a relationship. That's not a relationship. You said no, you've been because the minute somebody, you get you into a serious relationship, yep. you, you've been talking to somebody for twenty for two years. Again, who wants to deal with difficult virgins? This is in the dating pool, and I need you folks to understand why I took that conversation because there are a lot of people out there like her. She's not a minority. I, I want you to understand. She is not. She is not. It's not inconsequential. I don't talk to people for no reason. There are a lot of women out here who lack the skills to actually get along with a man and hide behind Christianity, religion, this, that, when they're really just socially awkward. Mm. Men like that are called incels. Right. Women, because they can get sex, they're not called femcels. But at the end of the day, 45 years old. Come on, people. And I already kind of hit on my points earlier. It's that manifestation. Sitting around waiting for something to fall in your lap. Manifestation is not real. And that seems to be something that's plaguing a lot of modern women. Just thinking that she's not the first, she's not the 10th woman we've seen on this channel over the age of 40 years old, wanting to be married, wanting a husband, but not taking any action. And then the other issue, possessing a strict religious belief, and you're allowed to do so. I would never knock anyone for that. But knowing that that specific belief is going to shrink the, the dating pool significantly. So what any person with sense would do would be to go to the place where they have an abundance of those type men, which would be the church. Mr. Sammy's talked about her being socially awkward. That definitely does play a role because there are plenty of socially awkward women out there. And like Mr. Samuel said, said, because these same women can still get laid, no one actually looks at them like they're socially awkward. But trust me, there are plenty of them out there. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. My name is Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. Do better. Uh, excuse me, bitches?